there you can see a little blue bridge. That would be the Florida Georgia line. Just across that bridge is Georgia where I came from and where we're going. Welcome to Florida. So today's random adventure has brought us to Fernadina Beach in Florida. I was going to wait till later to eat something, but I was a little bit hungry. So I knew I had some uh, free rewards on my McDonald's app. Well, now I'm at McDonald's. The app won't load. A little bit frustrated this morning. It's kind of busy. I think I'm going to go somewhere else and get something to eat. Maybe a gas station or something. And then we'll go for a walk and do some exploring. I know. Let's try Taco Bell. That's a cool looking Taco Bell. All right, guys. Well, I started to walk up and the dining room was closed. Well, drive through was open. So I got myself a toasted cheese sausage burrito. Now, after taxes, that was $1.71. I don't need anything major. I wanted to have lunch later, so something light, and then we'll go walk it off. And uh, let's go find us a cool spot that we can sit and enjoy the burrito. So I found the spot that I'm going to sit and enjoy the burrito on the corner of Atlantic and South 11th in Fernandina Beach. In fact, see a cool shot of the water tower in Fernandina Beach. That's pretty cool. And we're gonna go over here. And how appropriate is it that we have Veterans Memorial at Central Park and it's just past Veterans Day. So let's go enjoy our burrito. In honor of our veterans, thank you. We do wanna thank everybody who has served and how awesome is that? Really cool little veterans area. Bunch of names down here. Awesome. We want to thank all of our veterans. Really cool memorial right there. This is not our main stop for the day. Like I said, we're having a random adventure. I'm going to go ahead and eat my burrito. This cool little spot at Central Park in Fernandina Beach. Let's see what $1.71 has got us. A nice looking toasted burrito from Taco Bell. Well, here goes nothing. I don't usually eat left-handed, but uh, I'm holding the camera with this. So I'm not blown away by any means, but for $1.71, eh, can't go bad. So, for those of you that don't know, Fernandina Beach is part of Nassau County. And, cool little information there about some of the folks that settled in Nassau County that were all veterans. Check that out. Well, Central Park in Fernandina Beach offers quite the amount of amenities from playgrounds to sports complexes. You can see folks way down in the background. Uh, playing tennis, got the baseball fields, plenty to do out here. So guys, I think I've chosen where I'm going to take my walk today. And it is North Florida, November 18th, 9 a.m. ish, 70 degrees outside. There are some bugs out. So I did go ahead and bring what a lot of the hiking community uses, this Picaridin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, upon, a lot, upon a lot of research, this, this stuff is awesome. Now, Amazon, I got like a two pack for like $16. And I tell you what, this stuff works. And uh, make sure you spray your feet, your legs, 
especially for ticks. And it doesn't matter how cold it is in Florida. If you're going in the woods, you can still get ticks. Folks, I'm going to check out Egan's Creek Greenway. Now, it's a pretty awesome trail. I did the second part of the trail on Jasmine Street. There is another trailhead. Uh, but today I'm on Atlantic Avenue, uh, where I guess you would say technically it begins. I did not know that last time, so this time I'm going to do it from the beginning. Maybe I'll do the second half like I did last time. I don't know. I believe that's where you're going to get all the gators anyways. So let's see if we see some wildlife today. I guess let's check out this viewing platform first. So we're actually backtracking here just to, for a brief moment to get to this viewing platform and then we'll try to hit some of the, the trail. That's a nice view. Not bad, not bad. Well guys, really cool little viewing platform here, but let's get on the trail. All right, to access the trailhead, you'll be on Atlantic Avenue and you'll turn at the Recreation Center and you'll see some signs back here. You'll see Egan's Creek Greenway, Pirate Playground, great place to take your kids. Here's a trail map. We'll go over here. It says you are here. And the area that I did before, so where it says Jasmine Street, that's the area I did on a previous video. Uh, I went earlier in the year. It was actually kind of chilly outside. We saw no gators. That could change today. We'll see. But... We've got to go from here all the way up there. And then if we want to see some gators, we're probably going to have to go on this other section up here. So we'll see how much we can get done today. So I had the opportunity to use my GoPro today. I did not. I actually opted to use the iPhone 13, the one I've got just recently. Um, it's not real windy. The GoPro has awesome wind reduction, but I am content with the iPhone today for this trail. I actually like it. Pretty nice camera, awesome stability. And now tomorrow I will be using the GoPro. I bought a headband for the GoPro so that I can do a bike trail with my buddy, Mr. Jeremy. That is tomorrow. Now it won't be tomorrow on the channel. You'll just have to wait and watch for that video to come out. I don't know, I see some water here, so maybe we'll see gators in this section. We'll see. Beautiful scenery today. If you enjoy awesome family adventures, specifically in the Georgia, Florida area, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future adventures. Today is a solo adventure, but as I may have mentioned, we do a lot of family adventures and that will always be the emphasis on our channel. So Egan's Creek Greenway is known for its wildlife viewing, birding, uh, gators. I mean, just it has it all. The scenery is absolutely incredible. Now, like, like I did earlier, I put on my bug spray. I promise you, you'll need it. that awesome view look at that that's 
I bet you people do some kayaking in that. I am super excited. It is warm. The sun is out. I don't want to ruin anything, but I think we're going to see some gators today. One thing I liked about Egan's Creek is all the benches that they put along. Awesome opportunities to sit and just enjoy. Some cool views out this way. But even better, check this out. I don't want you to not learn anything today. The tree we're looking at here is the southern wax myrtle. The berries of the wax myrtle, which only occur on female plants, attract many types of wildlife. Like many other spe species in the greenway, the wax myrtle is very salt tolerant. I'm really fascinated by the white color on those trees over there. It almost looks like snow. I know it's not. Ooh, what was that? What was it? It might have been a gator. See him? I told you guys, today's the day. Look at that. That is awesome. And I think what went into the water earlier had to have been a gator. That is amazing. Look at that. I've left you with something. I've got more to journey ahead, but I'm feeling like this is gonna be a two-parter. Yep, I'm gonna leave it right here. I feel confident that in the next video, we're gonna see a whole lot more. Will you stick around, subscribe to our channel, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, Oh man, I'm excited about what lies ahead, both on this trail and on the future of PFAM 5. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.